Welcome everyone, my name is Richard Schneem and right now we're going to talk about Ruby arrays. Let's go ahead and get started. We can build an array using an array literal like this uh, using square brackets. We have a pets variable and we can assign that pets variable to an array. Here we are assigning it to Rex, um, an array that has three strings, Rex, Nibbles, and Fred. Um, arrays know a good bit about what is in them, so they, they know how many values are in them. So pets.count will return three. The array knows that it has three values in it. Um, and just further on proving that this is an array, we can call pets.class and get the return value of array. So one of the neatest features about arrays or um, any any subclass of enumerable inside of Ruby, an array is a subclass of enumerable, um, is that they have built-in iterators. If you don't understand what that means, don't worry. It's uh was a relatively unique concept to me whenever I came to Ruby. Um, what it uh, what it means is that we can go over each object in an array. We can call array dot each, and actually get pull all of the values out of that array. There are, there are several iterator methods in Ruby as for uh, enumerable, and we're going to be covering each as well as map. The really neat thing about this, if you're coming from another language, is we don't need while loops and for loops to go through the contents of an array because arrays know how to iterate over themselves. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have our pets array still. We can, if we put pets, we'll see the result of that array. I can call, since pets is an array, I can call pets.each and then pass it this structure, which uh, starts with do and ends with end. So it's pets.each do, and then here we have a uh, bar, or some people call it a pipe. So maybe pipe, pet, and then pipe. I uh, It's kind of like a little, uh, little chimney there. And then inside of this structure, we have puts uh, the string I love, and then we are passing it the variable of pet. So the output of this is I love Rex, I love Nibbles, I love Fred, which are the pets that we passed in. Uh, if you didn't quite follow along, don't worry. It's uh, a little bit uh, a little bit confusing for the first time, but it makes perfect sense once you get used to it. So here we have our array. So pets is our array, and we're calling dot each on it. And what is it is going to do, it is going to take um, each value from that array and pass it to whatever variable we define inside of this little chimney in between those those pipes. Once it is passed to that variable, we are going to pass it to the contents of our block. And, and the block is a thing where, in between the do and the end. So the first time this runs, it is the first value is going to be rex. So the variable pet is going to be set to rex. So when we put I love in the variable pet, since pet is equal to rex, the output is going to be I love rex. It hits end and it is going to go to the next value in that array. It literally it is outputting this for each value. So when we go to the next value, the pet name is nibbles. The so we pass that to our variable named pet, and we put I love pet. And do notice that um, the pluralization, it is pets with an S dot each, but pet singular in the chimney that we have over there. That's uh, very important. If you mix those two up, you won't quite get this output. And then finally, on the last iteration of this, it will put I love Fred. Uh, so this is a way that we can um, iterate over each element in an array without needing a while loop or a for loop. It's very convenient. Uh, we will get some hands-on experience with this later on in the class. If you're a bit confused, uh, try re-watching that section again or maybe try playing around with this on the, uh, on the console. Another way of expressing this instead of do and end would be with these little curly brackets. Uh, this means exactly the same thing. So this slide means exactly the same thing as this slide. 
Uh, it's just a different way of expressing it. Um, typically, whenever we use the, the curly bracket syntax, we are going to be using it on a single line. And if we have multiple lines that we want to run, um, we will be using the do end syntax. Uh, this is just kind of a um, semantic difference. You can use whatever you feel like. Uh, if you get a little confused based because the, the first one might look a little bit like a hash, we have our hashes defined with curly brackets. Um, just look and notice that there's no there's no hash rockets in there. So um, that would denote that we're not using a hash. Also, we have this little stove pipe, um, this little chimney type um, thing that the pet variable is in. And that is also going to denote uh, the structure of this. If you wanted to know the name, is called a block. Both of those are referred to as blocks. You don't need to remember that. And that's ultimately not important for this section, but for those of you interested. I'm, so that was array each. We can also use array map. Array each if, is if we want to iterate over the array. Array map is if we actually want to uh, build another array with the with some sort of an operation. So here we have our pets array, and we actually want to build a new array, but all capitalized. So inside of our block, we can call pet dot upcase. Uh, so that was arrays. That was Ruby arrays. Hopefully you got a little bit out of that. Uh, stick around and we will be talking about the Ruby standard library in the next section.